Hello and welcome to the new series about CNC machine, Ultimate B. First introductory video will be about unboxing and my initial impression after putting it together. Yes, I have already assembled it, but it will take me some time to prepare next videos. So let's get started. CNC machines are kinda direct contradiction to 3D printers. Instead of making things with additive manufacturing, machine actually subtracts material by making precise cuts. Why have I decided to buy and make my own CNC? There are some things that 3D printers simply can't do or it's really expensive. Good example is making really tough, rigid and very high temperature resistant pieces, such as heat blocks or heat sinks. I bought it primarily to make my own 3D printer parts but I am sure I will find more use cases in the future. Why have I decided to buy specifically Ultimate B kit from Bulkman 3D? They have a very good price to quality ratio and I am really not a big fan of sourcing gazillion of small parts myself. I have also wa wanted to have something small and light to the point you can call it a portable machine. I am also not sponsored by them. This kit comes with linear rails, ball screws and other parts available in their configurator. You can for example choose closed loop stepper motors or even servos. There is a possibility to buy just mechanical kit, which is the option I have chosen simply because I have electronics and spindle from my previous 10 year old CNC machine. My kit shipped within two weeks and from the first glance there wasn't anything missing. However, when I was close to the finish line, I realized that 4040 extrusion was unfortunately too long. I did notify Bulkman about this and I have yet to see what resolution will be. We'll let you know in the next videos. Like I said previously, I am impatient, so I decided to simply cut it to size. It wasn't an easy process as I wanted to be as precise as possible, so first I made a rough cut and then sanded it down a couple of times, each time shaving off a couple of microns until it was a tight fit. When it comes to hardware, there was nothing missing. In fact, I still have plenty of screws left and I am sure I did tighten everything that was listed in their guide. There were a couple of things I did differently and quite honestly, if you are watching this video because you want to assemble your own Ultimate B, let me save you some time. Their written build guide is amazing, has image on every little step and is probably more time efficient to use than to watch this series except few changes that I have personally made. I'm not saying my way is better or anything, I just found that couple of steps either easier to make or can save me some time. Very first difference was putting all linear rails to the C-beams, simply because I did not want them to accidentally knock them over. Now that I think about it, I have also could put the carriages onto the rails as well. Another difference is I opted out to not grease each axis after assembly as I knew I was going to either accidentally or purposely touch the rails, so greasing will be done when the entire machine will be assembled. Other than that, original build guide is a top notch. Very easy to follow, but it's time consuming. Good thing about this whole build is that each axis is almost entirely the same, so once you understand how to put first Y axis together to the point of mounting stepper motor, you will know how to assemble the rest. There are two minor mistakes in it, as it has a section of item list and the description. And there were two parts where the description had the correct screw size, while a list had the wrong part. I still haven't finished my electronics for it, just a sample mechanical kit, but I'm pretty sure I can make it within a couple of days, plus shipping times. As I have almost all parts needed except for cables, connectors and other small stuff. This will be it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. 
I did record this entire build process, but I'm not a big fan of extending content like melted cheese, so I will try to condense it with, to just a couple of videos. Thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button if you liked it.